Hi, this is Matt and if you enjoy movie review, short and trailer reactions, you're in the right place. So, want to subscribe and hit the like button down below. Today, we're checking out the trailer for Carrie from 2002 this time. Are you looking forward to Carrie 2002? No, it's like three years after the last one. The last one sucked. I don't have much hope. And also, how many times can you tell the same story? I know there's still one more coming after this, and like, it's Carrie. Carrie's Carrie. What twi what twist are they going to add to it to make it original? Mm -hmm. It mustn't be original. It's based on the book by Stephen King. The first one did a good job because they kept to the book, and then after that, you're just fucking it up. Yes. So let's see how they do that. Something has happened at you in high school. Something horrible. <laughs> Something evil. And one man must find out what it was. To the going theory is Carry it. Carrie would be conspiring to get Carrie White to the prom so you can humiliate her. And then something went wrong and a lot of people were killed. So this is an investigation also. Yeah. This feels like a real plot. Half an hour ago, Carrie White thought her first period was home. Yeah. There's no did she just fade away? Shouldn't people like that be homeschooled? You know, creepy religious people. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry about all this, Cassie. It's Carrie. Well, no exaggerating everything. Yep. Take Carrie so just Ash to the front desk. Carrie, based on a Stephen King masterpiece. You see, some people are having trouble believing that you had your boyfriend take Carrie White to the prom at the kindness of your heart. Reimagine for a new generation. The terrifying story of a girl born of sin. You're trying to be normal. It's evil. You're not going, and that's fine. Oh, please sit down and talk with me. Witch. Much more dramatized. Yes, the set looks almost exactly the same. Yes. Only to be fooled again. <laughs> the drama has been ended a lot. A lot, a lot. Like, I don't think it needed more drama. I think what made the first one great is that it was so grounded, it felt real. Yeah, it was high school drama up yeah. until it went bonkers, but because it was so grounded to start with, the bonkers didn't feel bonkers. Yeah, and it was a, sl a, a slow escalation. Like, it, a gradual, that's the word I was looking yeah. for. Gradual escalation. So it felt, like you said, more real despite the fact that it was quite fantastical. Where this is just so overly dramatized that it looks almost comical in some spaces. Yes. And there where the bucket of blood is falling, I'm like supposed to be horrified and sad for her and you know, scared what she's gonna do instead of just laughing. I think it's difficult because you maybe the first time you watched Carrie the original, you had no idea what was gonna happen. So the bucket of blood was like, Oh my god, that's horrific. Mm -hmm. Now it's like Okay, well, we're waiting for that point where the bucket of blood falls on and let's see what happens. So they're like, we know that the audience is expecting this, so make it over the top and to try and give something new and original. But clearly that backfired from the trailer anyway. Also, the bucket of blood looked like colored red water. Yeah, the first movie did a lot better job yeah. than that. The first one looked like blood. This yeah no it didn't look like blood it's just odd i don't know it looks like they put in a lot of money for weird extra over the top special effects but skimmed out on simple things like blood yes. at least i'm not a hundred percent opposed to the tactic they're taking because i suppose retelling for a new generation this is what 25 years after the first one give or take so it is a new generation cool and it's a slightly different perspective so the police officer investigating it trying to piece together mm. the story it's different in it's a spin on the first so maybe not too bad yeah i suppose we can believe it would be overly dramatized because you know people 
lie and make things yes. sound a lot more incredible than what it originally was. Exaggerate is a good Exaggerate, yes. yes. So I'm not excited for it because it doesn't look great at all, but at least it's not going to be just a cookie cutter repeat of the first one. So this, it's piqued my interest, but I not don't, much. yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Let us know in the comments down below. Is changing the point of view to the detective a good idea? Is it enough to make it worthwhile to make the movie? Or does it completely detract from the actual point of the movie, which is Carrie? Yeah, at least watch the movie. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Later.